Welcome back to Insurmountable. We just finished up Mountain 2. It is time to do the very first mission on Mountain 3. There's only three missions. Two side missions and then what I assume is the end of the game, I guess? Let's do this one with the scientist. We need to find five temporal anomalies. An opposing mountain formation with steep rocky spires. Let's see. Oh, we have to choose a route. Um, but what we have right now without choosing a route is just normal weather and plus 20% time cost on all terrain. On top of that, what are we putting on top of that? Very cold nights. Hmm. It's only active during night. Be very cold nights. Let's do very cold nights. See so yeah, how we're doing the scientist. Since there's very cold nights, I'm definitely taking the high quality fur gloves. I might not need the oxygen mask, but it's always a good thing. Um Yeah, the increased time cost is gonna make everything go down faster. Temperature, sanity, oxygen. Not energy, but the other things, yeah. I could put on warm boots. That's the only thing I'm thinking of switching out. The snow boots for warm boots. Um... Yeah, I'm going to swap these out with warm boots. Let's go. Are there going to be new events we've never seen before? Probably. This doesn't immediately look different than usual, or like harder than usual. I don't know, it is quite steep. There's not really a big like flat starting area. I don't know, there's a decent amount of stuff back here. There's like cave, cave, cave. Oh heck yeah, cave strat. Let's just stay down here. And just go caving, follow the wind, use your flashlight, lose a bunch of temperature, but get a high quality climbing ax. What can I get with Mad Genius? Oh right, something for any of my stats, except for health. Well, I've already used it, so... I guess body temperature, since I just took a big hit to body temp. Oh yeah, wow. Between that and my um, high quality, multiple high quality pieces of equipment that increase my temp, it is going up really fast. Maybe too fast. That might have been a waste. Leave the cave. Follow the light. We get some XP and sanity. Should I sleep? I guess I'll try to sleep away as much of the night as I can. No reason not to. Uh, 
I guess body temp when I use a consumable. Don't really like any of these, to be honest. I don't know if there's any point in getting this. The only thing I actually need is sanity. And I only need that slightly. And I could just use Mad Genius to get it back. Wait, can you use sanity to get sanity? No, that's one of the things you can't get. Okay, my bad. That makes sense. Because that wouldn't make any sense if you could. Well, shit, now I've used this. Um... <laughs> I don't know, speed? Nah. I guess. I guess I'll try to get this for sanity. <laughs> I can't even get sanity. Warped it is then. Guess we'll just head up now. Right, I should probably figure out where I'm going, huh? Um, after I get this. Sanity, yeah. Hmm. Better oxygen. Okay, somewhere over there. Hmm. Leap out of the way. Spend some energy, but I'm worth it. Faint light in the distance. Let's approach it carefully. Oh, a meandering mountaineer. I'm going to offer to help. Confused, the stranger stares at you for a moment, examining you from your head to your toes. Despite his initial skepticism, he's thankful for your help and shares his provisions with you. Aw, I thought for sure they were going to hit me in the head. What a nice person. Let's get less energy usage. Wait, is this... Yeah, that whole thing's a dead end. Dang it. Well, I'm glad I found out before we really went too far this way. Shall we sleep? I guess so. That's in the death zone. Not to mention the terrain here is really nasty. I don't think I want to go to that cave. first and then I think I might use mad genius all oh, right we have the cable oh we're gonna lose so much temperature 
following it. Let's just pull on the cable. That just uses energy, not time. Oh shit, we pulled on the cable and found a tent. I guess the tent was plugged in. <laughs> it's one of those smart tents. <laughs> God damn it. Don't need health, so let's get sanity. And yeah, let's start working on our body temp. Ruined station. Yeah, let's search through the rubble. We fucked up our knee. 30% energy cost on all terrain. Dang it. The auction is above 60, minus 12% time cost on all terrain. Let's get that. Is that out of the death zone? I think it is. Almost certain. It's really awkward though. And I don't need energy. Although I do want to use my flashlight. I always want to use my flashlight. But yeah, where we need to head is over here. So let's just head over here. Is that really worth it? I don't think it is. Actually, it doesn't cost much to get there. I might as well get it. Hmm. Climb down to save them? Yes. Oh, it takes a lot of energy. But I do save him. So much energy. Yeah, let's get uh, energy. Oh, there's the anomaly. Got one out of five. Disembodied hand. Um, let's search for the rest of the body. And we found some tea. Controlled breathing. Am I not going to have the energy to get up there? Oh no, I just have the energy to get up there. Can you move while you have... Oh, you can move while you have no energy. Huh. So many events down here. Oh, 
Our sanity's still doing great, so I don't mind using Mad Genius. Let's get more body temperature. Oh, we found the rest of the corpse. Oh, I don't have the energy to spend time burying the body. Sorry. Injured Mountaineer. Mm, don't want to spend that energy. Okay, I'm going to do it. Try to help him. He's grateful. Get some sanity. Experience and some high quality climbing gloves. I think I'll keep my fur gloves on though. Mm, get more stuff when we wake up. Ah, glacier. Oh, it's going to wreck our temperature if we try to go around. Let's attempt the jump. Oh, we landed safely on the other side. Whew. Shooting star. Let's get back energy. Follow the noise, use my flashlight, we get some food. Sleep. Let's do temperature again. I know I just went past the anomaly, but there were so many events over here I wanted. I couldn't pass them up. Anomaly one of five. <laughs> Do I want food or drink? I suppose... Do I have any drink right now? I do have one. And I do have one food as well. But with the temperature problem, I suppose drink is the most important thing, right? Thank you for the teas. Where's the next one? Oh boy. It appears to be on the other side of this friggin' mountain. Okay. Well, I guess I'll try to hit these events on the way up. Perhaps. Oh, these are gonna be some nasty climbs. Let's get less energy usage. Do I want that? I suppose I do. Disturbed snow. Mm. Dig just around the surface. Eh, we got some XP. in the ice. Free it from the ice. Oh, we lose a lot of temperature. We'll get a high quality hiking staff. That's for small height differences. Which I am not really doing too much of at the moment. Hot 
Hot Spring, Sanity and XP. Twenty percent less time cost on all terrain while oxygen is above sixty. Let's get that. Let's get energy again. Hmm. Let's get less energy cost. Then we can do just some really steep climbs without paying much energy. We don't need to get to the top, so <laughs> I shouldn't focus on that. I don't want to sleep right now. Definitely not. Yeah, this is all impassable, isn't it? So I guess I kind of have to go back down. I don't want to do anything that takes time because I really want the summit fever. Ugh. Use a ton of energy, I guess. I'll probably save it. Like, I'll probably make more energy or save more energy by having summit fever than giving that up. Use it again, energy again. Man, our temperature is not good. My energy cost is so low. Look at these two bonuses going Summit Fever and Mad Genius. Everything is just so cheap. It's a stormy day, but it's not a particularly cold day, so I'm actually gaining temperature pretty well. Hiding place. Hmm. Let's examine the crack. Oh, great. Injured hand. <clears throat> Injured hand. Lovely. Mm, get some sanity, XP. Get more stuff when we wake up. I see a lot of impassable terrain. Okay, it seems like we're okay if we... Wait, am I about... To... What am I going to run out of? Oh, energy. Right, the injured hand. There it is. Well, we're for sure gonna need to sleep. I could eat one can of food, but like, I wanna sleep off this injured hand as well.
Her hand is still injured for a couple more hours. Yes, hand is healed and daylight. Yeah, from here, that's totally impassable. I'm just going to leave that and not get that event. Relay station. Let's stay and look around. Ah! Sprained our freaking foot. Dang it. We get sanity or health back. Sanity. Where to now? Okay, up here. Oh, Christ. Random bad event. I well, lose a little sanity, but our sanity is doing so well. Let's actually get this for our body temperature or energy. What does the energy one do? Oh yeah, yeah, body temperature. Hmm. I think I'm going to sleep. I want to sleep off this freaking injured leg. Don't want to do all these super high climbs and use Mad Genius with a messed up leg. leg is gone. That's right, the whole leg just fell off. Oh, right, T in the snow. Um, do I want to dig? That takes a lot of energy. No, we're going to continue our journey. Injured person. Oh, Christ. That's a lot of energy, too. Sorry. I'm sorry. I have to leave you.
Ah, I can see you again. Saddlebag. Nice. Some herbs. We are quite full on stuff. Not a bad thing. Warmth or sanity? Mm, we'll keep using sanity a lot for Mad Genius, so sanity. see a cave right there. Mm, that's kind of a nasty route. I think I want to go down here. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Brum, brum. Nope, I did that the wrong time, sorry. There's the anomaly. Oh, there's another cave over there. A goat! It's nibbling on some herbs. Oh, I can give it food! Have some canned food. <laughs> Gives a friendly bleed and shares its herbs with you. Thank you. Follow the smell. Got some sanity and experience. Let's sleep long. Mm -hmm. Mm. 0.5 body temperature per hour when moving. I know body temperature is a problem, but I have four T's on me, so no. Let's get more experience. Let's get less um, energy usage, and I'm going to skip this cave and maybe get it on the way back, because I don't really need it right now, but I'm going to have to come back this way for sure. Because this is kind of a little dead end, this whole area. Oh, the goat! Hide behind the rock, too. Thank you for saving me. Sanity and XP. Cool. Yep, 
You know, most of the things we're going over are very small height differences, so let's use the hiking staff. I don't think we need the climbing axe at the moment. Less energy usage. Oh, right. I forgot I was going to get the cave on the way back. Towers of Ice. Take a detour. Yeah, we're fine. Wake the stranger? Are they gonna hit me in the head? No, they just don't want to talk. Sleep. We don't need to sleep long, but I would like to be out in the night time for less time. So let's sleep long. Tomorrow's supposed to be a nice clear day, so the closer we can get to that, the better. I think that's probably the only way up is through there. Yeah, we have to go that way. About to have some long climbs. Let's go back to the climbing axe. Our sanity is a little bit low. I'm going to use a moon herb. Just because there's a chance I have an ability that only activates when it's over 60. I'm not sure if I do or not, but I don't care to check. I'll just keep it above 60. Oh, it's up. Um, oh, it's right there.
trade. They want hot tea. That's fine. Oh no, they want either canned food, which I don't have, or hot tea for an oxygen container. I don't have an oxygen container at the moment. And I have four hot teas, so yeah, absolutely. Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, oh well. Yeah, that's the route you pretty much have to take. Ah, lose temperature, that's fine. I tried to talk to myself before. This time, let's stare at myself. Um, you sit down and gaze at your reflection. You wink at it, and your reflection winks back, but with a slight delay. You stretch out your empty hand. Your reflection also holds out it ha its hand, but to your surprise, it's not empty. Instead, it contains valuable equipment. It's almost as though your reflection wants you to take it. You hesitate, but in the end, you reach out and grab the gift. Your reflection smiles as you continue on your way. Wind charm. We get more oxygen at the expense of body temperature. I don't think I'll need that. Do I want to toss anything to make room for it? Hmm. Maybe climbing gloves? I'm probably not going to take off the fur gloves. But then again, am I ever going to use this? Like, nah. I'm just going to throw it away. Sorry, my reflection. You have poor taste. Your taste reflects poorly on me. <laughs> um, under the stars, I guess? I don't want intense movement. That increases energy cost. As, like, it has a negative. This also has a negative. This one doesn't. Okay, thank god it's not at the tippy top. is a little low. I'm gonna drink some tea. Oh, so much of that is impassable.
I'm gonna take another moon herb. A lot of impassable terrain here, so I don't want to deviate from this too much. Have to sleep. Do I have any food? No. Okay, let's sleep. Maybe sleep short. I don't want to sleep away the whole day. Kind of a waste of the 10, but I do have another 10. So I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to need more energy. I'm just going to sleep long. Huge energy cost to go over to that cave. I don't think it's worth it. Oh, there's the last anomaly. It's closer than I thought. Yeet it. Oxygen or sanity? Oh wow, only five oxygen? Or five sanity, I mean. Though it also gives you more XP than oxygen gives you. And this gives you energy as well, which I do definitely need. Yeah, let's get that. That looks a million miles away but I think it's actually quite close. I just don't know how to get there. I can't see shit. <laughs> Should I just sleep, maybe? I'm gonna sleep. Like, I might go completely the wrong way. Because <clears throat> the terrain's pretty tricky. It's in that little, like, corner where we already went to get one of the anomalies. Or I saved the one cave on my way back. Okay. Yeah, this should be pretty straightforward.
sanity or energy. Let's get sanity. By the way, did you know that for the entire game I've been playing on max movement speed? Did you know you can actually change it? There's three different speeds. That was actually the fastest. If you played it on the slowest, which is default, this is how it would be. Certainly more realistic, but oh my god. Oh my god, no. be wild. Let's get energy, click there, and just take this probably horrible route. Let's see how many times I can break my leg. Hmm. Dig fast. Oh, we didn't break our leg. Well, you know what? We just finished our first mission on Mountain 3. It was definitely a very long mission, but it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad at all. Oh, level 10 is the max character proficiency level. Dang. The way you brave the elements and don't let anything rattle you is just remarkable. You're good. Even better than I expected. Well, wait a minute. If I can't get that any higher, then doesn't that mean there's no point in saving these 200 points? Like... I'm never going to get enough to spend it on that. I might as well spend them on something. Get more energy when I reach a point of interest? Sure. I do have 10 reset points, so I could reset the points that I've spent and get something different, but I'm pretty happy with what I've spent with all the characters. I don't think I've gotten anything like disastrously useless or something. Okay. Well... I think I'm going to end the episode there, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and next time we return, there's one more side mission to do with the adventurer. <laughs>